What is up YouTube? It is your boy Never Go Living back with another PO to Pickers video and today we're gonna be having two dates for you guys. That of course is gonna be Shh, not Shelly and Lena. We're gonna be doing Gemini and Sala. So without further ado, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, like the video if you like it, and uh wait, what did I say? Subscribe, like, comment, share, all that good stuff. I'm gonna say it at the end of the video, so let's get right into it. Seeing stars. Wait, am I recording? Okay. Some people want to talk to you about Gemini, and they're quite insistent. Seems bothersome. You're walking down a quiet street in the middle of the city. It's been a dull day so far, so you're treating yourself to some frozen yogurt. Eat the frozen yogurt. You take a spoonful of frozen yogurt and consume it. It's delicious, so you take another bite. This time, some yogurt drips on your shirt. Crap. As you look down at the splooge, someone's hand reaches out to you. Need a napkin? A bald man wearing a suit and shades is offering you a napkin. Yeah, thank you. You reach out to take the napkin, but the man grabs your arm. He uses it as leverage to flip you over and throw you to the ground. Before you know it, you're being dragged towards an open black van. Oh, jeez, my froyo. Cooperate and maybe I'll buy you a fresh one. You're thrown into a van. The bald man follows you inside. The doors are closed and a light turns on immediately. Recognize this symbol? The man is holding up a piece of paper with a triangle and circle symbol on it. It's that one that Gemini had, and for a time you had it too. Yeah, I'm my friend Gemini, why? Good. Have you ever had that symbol on your body? Yes, but it's gone now. How long ago did you get it? You saw Gemini two months ago. You haven't seen her since. And your symbol rash disappeared a few days after it appeared. Two months ago, it didn't last too long. That sounds about right. The man bangs on a divider between the driver and the back of the van. The van begins to move. Where are we going? To a place where we'll finish, where we'll see if you're telling the truth. The van drives for what feels like an hour. It eventually stops in a quiet area. You're led out of the van and into an official-looking building. Your possessions are taken from you, and you're led down a corridor. Moments later, you find yourself in an interrogation room sitting at a table. A woman in her 40s with short brown hair enters. I'm Agent Danes. Name, please. Shouldn't you already know that? Kev. Thank you. Danes begins pacing up and down the room. How long ago did you meet Miss Rose? I presume you're talking about Gemini? Yes, Gemini Rose. You never caught her surname? Interesting. There's a mirror on the wall to your right. Danes looks at it and nods her head. How'd you come to meet Miss Rose? She was wandering down the road, so I helped her. Of course you did. They all do. Did you have sex with Miss Rose? I don't think so. It's a simple question. How could you not know the answer? I woke up in her place with no memory. I see, and after you woke up, that's when you noticed the symbol on your leg. Yes, that's right. Of course. Dane turns to the mirror. He fits the pattern. He's telling the truth. <laughs> Who's behind her? The pattern, what pattern? Danes ignores your question. When was the last time you saw or spoke to Miss Rose? Two months ago. Did you ever see her with this man? Danes pulls out a photo of a man. It's Alex, Gemini's brother. Yes, only once. When? The last time I saw Gemini. And where did you see him? On the highway where I met her. I knew it. I f***ing knew it. Danes opens the door and goes to leave the room. Why are you so interested in Gemini? We're not. We're more interested in her brother. Is Gemini safe? Is she okay? Dane shuts the door and turns back around. Would you like to see Gemini again? Yes. Where is she? If you want to see Gemini and you care about her safety, pick up the phone when we call you. Oh, okay. Shit. Okay. Dane leaves the room. You're allowed to leave shortly after. This is so weird. Where has Gemini gotten you involved in? It seems that her brother is of interest to the authorities. But as far as you know, he's only just returned, right? Unless Gemini is keeping something from you. Yeah, this is odd. Odd indeed. Let me take a sip of my drink right quick. Now, on to the solid date. I know Gemini was like some alien weird stuff or I don't know. But hopefully they'll turn it normal and maybe her brother's just some guy doing some stuff like a criminal or something. You know what I'm saying? So then it'll be more interesting. Instead of more like the more goofier storylines, but... uh. I guess we'll find out. Let me know what you guys thought about that one. But on to the salad date. The dirty truth. Will Salad listen to what you have to say or is it all over? 
Let's find out. You're outside the airport looking for Salah. A reporter has just accused you of sleeping with the mayoress in exchange for favors. You can't find Salah among the huge crowd of people entering and exiting the airport. Salah, let me explain. You spot Salah heading towards her car. Sprint towards Salah. You run over to Salah, but the reporter grabs your arm. Do you feel bad for what you've done, or was it a means to an end? It was a great party after all. I didn't sleep with her. Then why were you nude in her home? I was banging Salah, my girlfriend. I can't explain. You shove the reporter away and chase after Salah. When you catch up to her, she's already in her car with the windows up. Salah, let's talk. The door is locked and won't open. Go away. I don't want to see you. Salah is sobbing and she refuses to look at you. She turns her key in the engine, but it won't start. There was a picture of you and me together. Sure it was, like I'd believe that. Salah's car finally starts. She winds down the window. Junior told me that he asked you to sleep with the mayors. I thought you were a better man than that. I thought you wouldn't do it. I guess I was wrong. Oh, she is crying. You can see her tears. Look. Oh, shorty, I'm so sad. You look good, too. You aren't wrong. I didn't sleep with her. I don't want to hear it. Salah drives away and you're left standing in the parking lot. The reporter comes back over to you. Off the record, tell me, how was she? Go away or else. Or else what? I wouldn't threaten me, sir. I'll tell the world. I promise. Tell me who took that picture. I cannot reveal my sources. When was it taken? 8 p.m. during the mayor's gala. You know this. You were there. Several guests say you disappeared, and so did the mayor's. Even with your foggy memory, this doesn't seem right. You remember the room, but you're sure you'd remember if you messed around behind Salah's back, especially if it was with the mayor's. I did use the room, but not with the mayor's. Then who were you with, and where did the mayor's go? I don't know where she went. Then who are you with? I can't say. You can't tell me much, can you? I'd love to help you out and get the truth. Get to the truth of the matter. The reporter hands you his card. But until you have something for me, the story is what it is. The reporter leaves. You call Junior. He answers. Kev, I thought you'd be long gone by now. Me too. Have you heard the news? Yeah, everyone has, you dirty dog. I thought you said you didn't go through with it. I didn't. Kev, that picture of your bear <laughs> A is all over the internet. You're telling me that ain't you yeah it is but the mayor's wasn't there so you're there yanking it on your own wait no that's where you went with Salah dude legendary exploits my friend legendary I need to speak to Salah one thing at a time friend first of all Junior hangs up you see him pulling up in front of you you need to get out of here hop in my friend half an hour later you're sitting with Junior at his beach bar he's made you another stage drink this one has flowers in it this one will make everything alright trust me it won't, though, will it? Really? How? Okay, it won't do a damn thing to fix nothing. But you will feel like it has, and that's all that matters right now. Junior pats your back gently. So we're good friends, right? Of course, the best. Good. So I know you're telling me the truth, that you definitely did not sleep with the mirrors, even though I asked you to? I don't think I did. That's a start, at least. But is there any chance that you did? You said yourself that last night was a blur for you. I wouldn't hurt Salah like that, even if I was drunk. All right, I believe you. You're not that kind of guy. So what's your plan? I need to speak to Salah. That's going to be easier said than done. Do you even know where she is? No, do you? Nope, but if I were a gambling man, Junior leans into you. And I am. I'd say she's gone to one place in particular. Where's the first place women go when a man has cheated on them? Probably their mom's. Their mom's house. Bingo. Daughters always see, seek, seek advice from their moms in times like this. Miro and her friends drove you up to the party, right? Did she happen to mention where her house was? I think I remember something like that coming up. Then go where we go. Then that's where we go first. Junior stands up. But be wary, my brother. There's one thing worse than a woman's scorn. Oh, dang. I skipped it. And that thing is the woman's mother. I'll just show the truth, she'll understand. I hope so for both our sakes. Now come, let's go before things get out of control. You and Junior start walking towards his car, but another car swerves in front of you and blocks your path. The mayor steps out. Mayor, are you okay? Smooth. The mayor ignores you what you said and storms towards you. Dion, baby, let's talk about this. The mayor shows you to the ground and spits on top of you. Oh man, she looking right. You, Kev, are going nowhere. She pins your arms to the ground. The marriage is surprisingly strong. Jesus Christ, what just happened? 
Not until you tell me how you're going to fix this. Y'all just the marriage is not a woman to be trifled with. It seems you got something to some explaining to do. To her, to Sally, and to Sally's mom. I bet you wish you'd taken that flight home, right? Yeah, I do indeed, for sure. Won't want none of the trouble, but I guess we'll see what happens in the next episode. But anyways, guys, that'll be the end of this video today. Let me know what you thought down in the comment section below. Make sure if you're new, hit that subscribe button. Like the video if you enjoyed. Leave a comment, all that good stuff. And uh, share with a friend, share with your mama. But that's all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.